cloud computing and virtualization are becoming a mainstream discussion in the 5G world. And this is little new to the telecom world. Whereas the internet world was always dependent on cloud infrastructure, telecom networks mostly dominated by purpose-built software and vendor-specific hardware. In some later releases of EPC, we started moving towards a virtualized environment. And in this module, we will talk about virtualization in telco context, so let us get started. In 4G networks, we only have packet switching and at the same time, Node B and RNC functionality are combined in 4G. And the new node is called E Node B. SGSN functionality of 3G is divided into two parts. One is MME which does the control plane part which is signaling. And the other one is SGW which does the user plane part. And manage traffic. PGW comes in the place of GGSN of 2G and 3G networks. HSS replaces the HLR of 2G and 3G networks. PCRF is a node defined to manage quality of service and charging rules. Initially all these network nodes were deployed using vendor-specific purpose-built hardware and software and used to come with vendor locking. However that gives tough time to mobile network operators whenever they wish to change the vendor or service and they had to swap the complete network hardware. To overcome this issue, mobile networks operators have started building their own data centers using COTS hardware as a private cloud and deploying their telecom workloads as virtual machines first and then moving to containerized environments gradually. Now all the network nodes like MME, HSS, and PCRF can be deployed as VNFs that is, virtual network functions, and are now referred to as VMME, VHSS, and VPCRF. It is also possible to deploy VEPC that is, virtual EPC on public cloud infrastructures like AWS, Azure, or Google. For example, we can use Amazon EC2, which is a compute instance to host applications like MME and SPGW. But operators may have their on-premises data centers for nodes like HSS and PCRF to maintain the confidentiality of user data. 5G core network goes a step ahead, and all network functions are defined as CNFs or cloud-native network functions and communicate with each other in REST API-based communication using an open protocol like HTTP2. Not only core networks but some of the functions of radio networks can also be deployed in containerized environments. 5G network functions like AMF, SMF, etc. are broken down into multiple microservices. And these microservices can be hosted on containers. For example Docker and can be orchestrated using tools like Kubernetes. So even Docker and Kubernetes kind of technologies are becoming very important for 5G core deployment. And this is called as cloud native architecture of 5G core networks. Cloud computing is becoming very important for telecom. And especially for 5G and in coming years it is going to change. How we imagine our telecom networks? Please visit our website www.learnisaglobal.com For more such videos, blogs, trainings and information. Thank you.